so the horses that have been paddock grazing, you can see they're on the top section of that line. You can see that yellow bit there is what they've just finished grazing. And sequentially, there's more and more grass. And a week, 10 days ago, or more, I was sowing here. This is the horses had grazed this down and I came out and I sowed a mixture of salad, brunette, and some trefoils and clovers and other grasses. And as you can see, there's a seedling coming up. There's a seedling coming up. There's a different seedling coming up. But I have a little bit of an issue. The boys are coming over here to graze because of the sweet young stuff. And I don't want you guys over here, Alfie. You guys have to go because they're gonna be grazing. They've missed them here, but they'll start grazing my seedlings. So lads, come on. Whoop. Come on. Whoosh. Come on. Whoosh. Whoosh. Whoop. Come on. Oh, healthy with your arthritis. Come on. Come on. Come on, Alfie. Come on. There we go. So they're going to have to stay out of this patch here to let the seedlings take hold. So I've got to put this up now before they decide to break through to the other side. The horses don't think much of it. They don't think it's fair. Here's the ram lambs. They should be in this field, but every time I try and get them over, they run in the opposite direction. They've not been very cooperative. So now this section here all the way along here is now fenced off so nothing's getting in here so i was walking along to look at what was coming up and i'm really pleased to see this is uh, bird's foot trefoil and these aren't seedlings this is established bird's foot trefoil so we already have lots of it in this cover so i'm very pleased to see that and then coming in here, as long as the rams didn't graze it, I probably was doing too many other jobs and didn't concentrate on this enough. Ah, there we go. Yeah, good. Okay. Here are some of the seedlings coming up. There's some salad brunette. There's uh, some trefoil, some of this more cultivated trefoil. Um, and I'm not quite sure what this one is. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't think. But it looks like there's, and there's young clovers as well coming up. So, oh, and look, young mushrooms as well. Tiny, tiny, itsy bitsy mushrooms. So this is now going to, uh, I should chop that down and take it out. I don't want those seedlings to get spread around in here. But there's, um, trying to get rid of the moss, sowing all kinds of things. Here you can see, there's one of the seedlings of the one that I can't think of. There's a bird's foot trefoil. There's a salad brunette. There's a clover. So that's one, two, three, four. And in amongst those are gonna be Timothy's and different rye and orchard fog. So there's a lot of it coming up here. You can see all these seedlings here. So it's now fenced off. So those lads won't graze. This, this is about a quarter of the field, this paddock, this particular field. So up to that fence and to where this four strand electric is just right here. I've re-sown when the horses grazed it down to the bone. 
and hopefully that'll take care of you can see in amongst here there's um, good old fashioned moss so I don't want to grow moss I want to grow grass or mixed herbage so this is and it looks like the strike rate is really really nice so there's lots of clovers and salad burnets coming up so the weather is perfect for them to take off so that's really exciting so now the new crop can't be grazed off by the boyos they're now locked out with that electric fence they can graze there's loads of grass over the far end where they are at the moment down beyond that uh, larch tree that's a larch tree by the way that one right there like that's a larch tree and that's a larch tree <laughs> 